Welcome to the slide-based background research video on phantom promoters and enhancers. At the apex of transcriptional regulation lie the transcription start site and the core promoter around it. At the TSS core promoter region all the signals from enhancers, transcription factors, insulators, etc. are integrated and the decision to start transcription is taken. The Phantom project set out to find all the promoters and their usage across the human body. To this end, they developed a method called CAGE, CAP Analysis of Gene Expression. CAGE captures capped mRNAs, which is followed by the sequencing of the first 20 to 30 base pairs of the resulting full-length cDNA. The obtained CAGE tags are mapped back to the human genome, resulting in peaks at active transcription start sites. The number of tags mapping to a given TSS corresponds to its expression level, much like in RNA-Seq. So, we get both the location of promoters and expression level for the sample we perform CAGE on. The Phantom project has applied CAGE to a multitude of human cell types, tissues and cell lines to create a comprehensive atlas of promoters and their usage across the human body. Here, we view an example of CAGE tags mapped around the annotated start site of the GALT1 gene. Each bar plot shows the CAGE tag intensity for each nucleotide for a set of cells, namely T cells, monocytes, aortic smooth muscle cells and SW13 cells. We can observe that there are at least two different larger start site clusters which display different cell usage preferences. The T and SW13 cells use the left cluster, the aortic smooth muscle cells use the right cluster, and the monocytes use both. So, even a single gene may have multiple promoters with different cell usage, and depending on the cell of interest, different promoters should be selected for further analysis. When examining expression data like CAGE at transcription start sites, we only detect the effects of regulation, not the underlying mechanism. What if we could see the enhancers as well? This example showcases a known enhancer from the VISTA database. It has the features we may expect to observe in enhancers. It is highly conserved, DNA is sensitive, has H3K27 acetylation and H3K4 monomethylation marks but not H3K4 trimethylation and also contains summary chip transcription factor peaks. Finally, we note two cage peaks that delineate a narrow region right in the middle, just where the conservation is the highest. These are bidirectional enhancer RNAs. In Phantom 5, we used the aforementioned properties of bidirectionally transcribed eRNAs to predict enhancers based on cage data. This resulted in a set of around 43,000 actively transcribed enhancer regions. We found that the expression levels of enhancers corresponded to their usage in cells. So, much in the same way as the promoters, we could use the Phantom 5 collection of cell types and tissues to create a unique enhancer usage atlas across the human body. Many users of the promoter and enhancer atlases may wish to select a subset of enhancers and promoters which are only used in the samples of interest. However, most promoters and enhancers are not exclusively expressed in one cell type. We find that it is more relevant to use constraints like at least or at most n% percent of the total expression from this promoter or enhancer should come from cell type X. In SlideBase, we have taken this concept one step further to let users interact with sliders in order to create expression rules for selecting genomic features. Expression rules may be set by altering the expression values using sliders for each individual sample.